Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have a very big surprise for you. Sitting to my right is 80s film sensation Anthony Michael Hall. You may recognize him from such films as Vacation, Sixteen Candles, and Edward Scissor's Hands. Anthony, yeah. welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So, whatever happened to that Rusty we all loved so much in Vacation? Uh, moved on. Uh, <clears throat> I, I got married. I got actually, I'm out of the business now. I'm uh, selling mayonnaise on the side. Oh, mayonnaise sales. Yes, very nice. But they did a bunch of other vacations <laughs> after that. You didn't join that? No, I'm really into uh, condiments on the side. I sell them in those little plastic. Uh... Yes, condiments. Whatever happened to you in 16 Candles? There was a <laughs> lovely blonde haired girl that I believe you were kind of. Shagged. Uh, yeah, uh, in 16 Candles. Wow, that was a long time ago. Uh, right, and you had the, how are you, t you had the braces going. Remember that? The braces? And I Farmer was, Ted, I think, was your name, right? Farmer Ted? Yeah, Farmer Ted. I was. Uh, John Cusack was also in that, I believe. It was. That's not, a, that's not a lie. John Cusack played a, a young, young man in that. And so, 16 Candles. Molly Ringwald. What happened? You know, I'd, r I'd rather talk about uh, the things Edward I'm doing Edward Scissor's now. hands, right! You were quite the mean-spirited person in that, with Winona Ryder and that Johnny Depp, who didn't have a pen, didn't have phalanges. That's medical for fingers. He had scissors, and you made fun of him. That was quite a character. You play your range is unbelievable. A Edward Scissor's hands. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm talking about things I want to talk about. <laughs> Go. Is this, is, this show isn't on national television, is it? This is cable, right? <laughs> um, yes, we're syndicated uh, in all across the country. You know, I'm making a comeback. Let's talk about my new film. It's called uh, Slush Dogs. It's taken after Sled Dogs, the Disney hit. Uh, oh, with Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah. I believe Cuba. it looks like Cuba, but he pronounces it Cuba, I believe. However, in Slush Dogs, which is different than Sled Dogs, and uh, it's a Pixar film, not Disney, um, these dogs don't talk uh, in English. They talk in Swahili. So it adds this, uh, it's like a uh, urban subtitles? flavor. Uh, no, there's no subtitles. Uh, you need a special listening device in the theater. It's uh, 5 dollars oh, Kind of like Sony. back in the 50s when they'd have that like, scream edition when they'd buzz you. Yes. So now you get, yes. wow, that's so it's a, so is that where the future of film is going? Into language that the audience doesn't necessarily understand mm. and they have to go put a, things in their ears? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Yes. You think so? And that is where film is going. But how do you, okay, how do you balance, how do you balance a condiment career selling mayo and a film career? That's got to be difficult. Stephen, uh, I get the feeling you're making fun of me. Oh, on contrary, Michael, I'm one of your biggest fans. I so love you. Na name something other than Rusty as a character I've done. Okay, how about Farmer Ted, 16 Candles? Okay. Okay, let's go Breakfast Club, huh? Something after 1990. Breakfast Club? No, that was not that. You were a very smart young man in Breakfast Club, and that Judd Nelson was a dick, if I must say. You John Nelson deserve better is, uh, than that. Godfather, and caught, one of my children. I appreciate you wouldn't speak of Judd like that. Judd Nelson is not a godfather of you. No way. Really? One of my children. How many children do you have? Stephen, I already mentioned, I have eight children. A lovely wife, Jan. She helps in the condiments. And sales. where do you reside? Springfield. Springfield. Now, do you find it hard getting work in Springfield? Find it hard to buy a cock ring in Springfield. Cock rings, now there's a story. That's, that's, that could be a whole other show. In fact, I believe our old guest Dougie could tell you a few things about cock rings. Maybe some little anal teasers, as they say. <laughs> Look, uh, I gotta go. I got a, a commercial thing. Are you doing commercials now? Yeah, condiments. Oh, so you're selling the condiments, but you're doing the commercial. I thought you were actually had a business where you go into like what you call a McDonald's and sell condiments. We do. We need to make commercials. It's oh, an industrial God. commercial. You're like okay. You're like a used car salesman, where you do your own commercials for your products. Except with relish and mayonnaise and. Uh, well, that and then what's the name of this company? You have a name yet? Uh, yeah, we do actually. It's uh, Condiments R Us. 
Uh, did you think that is very good? I, I thought, didn't think uh, my wife thought of it. Jan, lovely woman. Uh, we have eight children. Did I mention that? We have two more on the way. She's having twins. Oh, uh, Jorg and Yorgi. Nice. Uh huh. Followed up by um, we're gonna we're planning to have triplets next uh, year. How do you plan something like that ahead of time? Well, actually, we it's in the condiments. If you uh, well, I don't want to say pack the uh, vagina with relish, but essentially that's what you do. You can, it this is so, builds so up the, yeah, we keep my, I keep my sperm with the condiments actually. And sometimes we mix mayo, some relish into the sperm and it becomes yeah. super sperm. Wow, that's tasty. So, yeah, it is. you relish up the twat, kind of by the labia as you they pack say. Pack it with relish. Maybe in between the meat curtains. It's, and a, when meat you pack, it's your... a pack between the meat curtains of relish. So when the glance penis enters the labia, it flushes the relish throughout the vagina. Yeah. That's interesting. I like that. Yeah. That could be a hell of a show, couldn't it?